We are going over adding and subtracting decimals review. My learning target is I can add and subtract decimals. So our steps for doing this is to line up the decimals vertically. Add zeros as placeholders if needed. And this is going to be zeros as placeholders to the right of the number. Then starting at the lowest place value, you are either going to add or subtract from right to left. And then you are going to bring down, I'm sorry, bring the decimal straight down. And then check that your answer is reasonable. For example, if you were doing 10 minus 3, you were not going to get 157. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's do this first example. We have 2.4 plus 6.23. We're going to line up the decimals, and then we are going to add placeholders to the right. So we're going to put a 0 right here. So 0 plus 3 is 3. 4 plus 2 is 6, and 6 plus 2 is 8. We're going to bring down the decimal point straight down, and our answer is 8.63. All right, now we are going to do 3.3 .3 minus 2.56, so 3.3, line the decimal up, 2.56. Add our zero placeholder, and we are subtracting this time. We have to borrow from this. 10 minus 6 is 4. We're going to have to borrow again. 12 minus 5 is 7. And then 2 minus 2 is 0. Bring down the decimal point. 0 0.74 is our answer. All right, let's do more examples. Number 1, we have 14.46 plus 34.4. Add that place value, 6 plus 0 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 3 plus 1 is 4. And then bring down that decimal point, so our answer is 48.86. All right, we're going to do 23.7 minus 14.28. Add that placeholder. We're going to borrow... 10 minus 8 is 2, 6 minus 2 is 4. We are going to borrow again. 13 minus 4 is 9, and then 1 minus 1 is 0, so my answer is 9.42. Number 3, we're going to do 8.02 plus plus 10.23. You can put a placeholder here, but you don't have to if it's to the left. 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 0 is 2. 8 plus 0 is 8. And then 1 plus 0 is 1. Bring our decimal straight down. It's going to be 18.25. All right, 4.07. Minus 1.54, 7 minus 4 is 3, we have to borrow, 10 minus 5 is 5, and then, oops, we borrow, that should be a 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, bring our decimal straight down, 2.53. All right, 15 is 13 minus 4.08. So you have this imaginary decimal point right there. And we're going to add two placeholders in this case. And we need to borrow. So this becomes a 2. This becomes a 10. we got to borrow again. This becomes a 9. And then it's 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. We have to borrow again. 12 minus 4 is 8. So 8.92 is our answer. All right, then we have 934.07 plus 6. We're going to add our placeholders. 7 plus 0 is 7. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 6 is 10. 
3 plus 1 is 4, and then 9 plus nothing is 9. Bring the decimal straight down. 940.07 is our answer. You can add placeholders right there if you would like. It's not going to change the answer. The only time I required it is if it's to the right. Lauren went to the store to buy groceries. Her food items cost $52.78. Her toiletries cost $32.07. What did her total grocery bill cost? Our keyword total tells us we're adding. So we have $52.78 plus $32.07. plus 7 is 15. 7 plus 1 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4, and 5 plus 3 is 8. Bring the decimal point down so her grocery bill total was $84.85. Number 8. Jamie is selling chocolate bars to her neighbors. Her neighbor owes her $12.07 and hands her $20. How much change should Jamie give her neighbor? So when you're finding change, you're going to take the total and subtract how much they owe her. And then we're going to do these placeholders. So we are going to have to borrow. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7, 1 minus 1 is 0, bring that decimal point down, so she, Jamie needs to give her back $7.93.